Let's get things done, just like how I get things done. Let's be real. Do you know anyone who's as consistent at posting content as me in the productivity app space? No, you don't. I think I'm the only one that actually has posted every day for about a year at this point. Do you know anyone else who's as charismatic as me in the productivity app space? That's subjective, we don't know. But what we do know is that I have this new Notion template that I'm dropping called the GTD template. If you go to riseproductive.com, you can check it out. And the great part about it is that I've actually set it up to be integrated very easily with Hints.so. Hints.so is the best quick capture software that you'll find out there. You can quick capture between multiple different platforms like WhatsApp, Slack, text messages, email, and it can easily parse the stuff that you put into it right into your Notion workspace. There's gonna be a series of videos on how you can quick capture not only tasks, but resources, bookmarks, all that kind of stuff, as well as setting it up to do true quick capture using the shortcuts app, which I've shown on the phone, but now on Mac and on your desktop if you're a Windows user, which is gonna be insane. But getting into this workspace, what you're going to have here is a fully baked out tasks, priorities, projects, journal, resource, and further setup. So the databases are gonna be back here and it is as simplistic as possible. This dashboard will allow you to easily navigate between all these different things, see your priorities and have an inbox that you can work with on your mobile device and on your desktop very simply. And it also uses the PARA method. For those of you that are unaware, the PARA method stands for projects, areas, resources, and archive. And this method helps you with your project and knowledge management, especially for those of us that don't instinctively kind of get how that should go. I think most people have been taught certain things in school. And unfortunately, school doesn't teach us much. Let's be real. When it comes to this kind of methodology, it's got a weekly view, calendar view that showcases what's unscheduled as well as the other unscheduled items by area and project. So that way, if you wanna go into your any specific areas of your life or business, you can hop right in there and you'll see the tasks, projects, priorities, and different resources associated to it, as well as navigate between the sub-navigation of those specific project pages and resources. This is by far the simplest but most effective workspace template I've ever made, and if you do get this, you will get the Mastering Notion course I have, as well as every single individual template I'll ever create. Now in practice, what makes this so good for Quick Capture is this task database right here. So. What we have is a few date properties, priority, and then the type of the task. So here you'll see that there's due date, which means when you are going to take action on the task. And then there is the due date. Now the due date is when like it has to be done from a deadline perspective. Now you can change this to time, especially if you're doing an audio capture, but this is a way that a lot of people seem to understand it. So that's why I created it like this. Now you'll notice here there's this little bot, and this is an example task capture for a task that I actually used hints for. And you'll see the integration has that little take out the trash, time is today, capture from when I actually inputted the data into the hints integration. So what would that look like? Essentially it has this natural language processing. So if we go to WhatsApp for an example of the integration, I can go right here and type make new YouTube video for hints. So what we're gonna do first is type due date is today the do is also today it's going to be high priority and then we're going to say it's an ad hoc task and then assigned to me now you notice with all those different parts of it there are commas between each of the properties the reason for this being is because when i press enter it's going to parse that information so you can see it's going to go into the processing mode really quick and you'll see it actually created this task so if i click on this and take a look we have a make new youtube video that did it exactly right. So we have the, the date it needs to be done, the time it needs to be done, that it's priority and ad hoc task and assign it to me. The assign it to me is one of the more impressive things considering that's just very good natural language processing. And the reason that this is so impressive is because I actually work with Hints as an ambassador and I told them that we need to change it so that the text doesn't go here so that it can go into something else like a comment because now what you can do is you can pick a template for the test. So say you remember on the go that you have a thing like a content task, you can pick 
that type of template very easily. Now you can kind of tweak the names of these different properties, but as long as you tell the integration the right thing and make it close enough, it will parse it out and you'll be able to have this work for not only tasks, but projects, bookmarks, because it captures URL and it captures files and media. I'm telling you, this is a game changer when it comes to Quick Capture. I'm going to make more videos on how this amazing application can make your life in Notion and everything else so much easier. The great thing is you can actually get this for 80% off for the first month if you use my code at checkout, code Dimitri, because I guess my name is King in this circumstance. You can find all that goodness in the link down below. And you can also find out a lot more on how to be more productive by checking this video out right here.